When birds migrate, they will often fly together in large flocks. But one species traveled in flocks so big they blocked out the sun, and their calls could be heard from miles away. This was the passenger pigeon, a bird found only in North America. Scientists estimate that this bird once numbered between 3 and 5 billion, and that it made up 25 to 40 percent of the entire bird population of the United States. Samuel de Champlon wrote that this bird was found in countless numbers. Gabriel Sagar Theodat claimed that there were infinite multitudes. Cotton Mather even wrote that he once saw a flock a mile wide that took several hours to pass over. I'm Donald and this is my assistant Bear. It's shocking that one bird could be found in such high numbers, only to be wiped out completely. That's what we're here to explore in this edition of Gone From Earth, the story of the passenger pigeon. This bird was found from North America's Great Plains to the Atlantic coast. The orange areas on this map highlight the pigeon's primary range, but the red areas indicate the main areas where it would breed. As you can see, the male was more colorful and slightly larger than the female. Males measured about 15.4 to 16.1 inches long, while females were usually 15 to 15.7 inches. They spent winters from North Carolina and Arkansas south to the Gulf Coast and northern Florida. Once in a while, the pigeon may have been sighted outside of its usual range. There were occasional reports of them in the western states, as well as Mexico and the islands of Cuba and Bermuda. The pigeons mainly ate nuts during the fall, winter, and spring, and berries during the summer. Small invertebrates were also a welcome food item. Several birds would congregate together to form a colony that would nest communally. A nesting area could cover thousands of acres, with a hundred nests in just one tree. There were even reports of branches breaking due to the weight of so many nesting birds. A colony of them could be very noisy, and they were even described as deafening. Unfortunately, in the 1800s, the meat of the passenger pigeon was commercialized and considered cheap food. Hunting of these birds intensified in 1850 and continued on a massive scale for decades. Hunters would shoot the birds as well as trap them in nets. Many of the forests they called home were destroyed as well. The last wild passenger pigeon was shot in Ohio in 1900. Some were kept in zoos, but it was not enough to recover their numbers. By 1909, only three passenger pigeons, two males and a female, remained. They were kept at the Cincinnati Zoo. One male died that very year, then the other male died in 1910. Only the female, named Martha, was left. She died on September 1, 1914, believed to have lived to the age of 29. Four years later, the last surviving specimen of another American bird, the Carolina parakeet, died and became extinct in the same cage Martha had lived in. The passenger pigeon was once so abundant that nobody thought it could possibly become extinct. This bird that once numbered in the billions became extinct less than 100 years after the hunting intensified. It was a hard lesson in the preservation of a species. For several years, it was believed that the mourning dove was the passenger pigeon's closest living relative, but it is now known to be the band-tailed pigeon. Bear and I invite you to join us next time on Gone From Earth on a trip to the island of Kauai to take a look at the last member of a family of Hawaiian birds to have gone extinct. We thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Wildlife Chronicles. We'll see you on our next adventure.